Okay. Boom. Oh, dude. That's so nice. Yeah, ASMR, bros. Oh, man. One of the things I love about using a French press for coffee is I can get, like, an, a cup extra out of it. Usually, I'm not a big two, three cup drinker, but on the days where I use the uh, French press here, it allows me to make enough for two cups, so I love it. Oh, forgot to mention, let's roll that buttery B-roll. Mm, very good. Those who are watching in the morning, if there's one piece of advice I would give you, it would be get some good coffee, man. Good coffee means great ideas. Stand by that. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jake the Long Kid. Welcome back to yet another JTLK video. Today, we're going to be talking all about the Matte Black Toro Super Recycler. Now, for those of you guys who have been following me for a while, you guys know that Toro is a brand I have been using for quite some time. As a matter of fact, my first ever mower that I got was when I was back in the third grade, about 10, 11 years old. My dad and I went to the Home Depot and we bought one of those 2008 Toro, Toro Recyclers. As a matter of fact, if you want to see a picture of that, I'll leave it here. It's probably one of the most prominent mowers in my area. Seriously, I see a a lot of people using these Toro recyclers and I gotta say love them well today we're gonna be talking about something that's a couple grades up from that and it's actually something that you could find at your local dealer and that is going to be the matte black mower aside from the dope color scheme that that thing has there are so many unique features that I think we could find within this mower this is probably one of the best push mowers on the market compared to any other brand and not only that probably one of the best mowers that Toro has ever made. One of the best 21 inch push mowers Toro has ever made compared to some of the lower end models of this exact type of mower. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Without further ado, get yourself some coffee. We got a little bit to go over. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is what makes the Super Recycler super. So assuming that a lot of you guys who are watching this video are experienced veterans with some of the early versions of the Toro Super Recycler, please forgive me. But for those of you guys who are brand new and you're looking for a really great top-notch mower that you can get from your local dealer, then you might wanna to listen to this for a second. So a lot of people, when they hear the name Super Recycler and they compare that to the traditional recycler, they often ask the question, Jake, what makes the Super Recycler Super. Well, I'd be happy to tell you. It's underneath the mower deck. So with the Super Recycler, you have a couple of things compared to the old Recycler. Number one, you have a narrower deck, 21 inches. And with that, we also have these wedges under the blade, which will do a couple of things for us. First off, what they'll do is they'll deflect the clippings back into the blade, which will allow those clippings to stay under the deck for a longer period of time. And number two, get chopped up into smaller bits before they back into the lawn, which in my opinion, solves a common problem because one of the biggest things about mulching mowers that don't mulch very well is that if they don't mulch the clippings up into smaller bits they're probably going to fall back into the lawn as larger bits and that can contribute to thatch in the future so having a really good mulching mower is key and this mower does just that with those wedges under there which will keep the clippings under there longer which will allow them to in turn get broken up into smaller bits before they fall back into the lawn which also in turn will decrease the chance of thatch and clumping in the future so that is why they call it a super recycler. Now let's talk about some of the unique features that I really like about this particular model of the matte black mower that I really, really love. 
so as I mentioned in the intro of this video, the one particular model that we're going to be looking at is the Toro Matte Black Super Recycler 21383. Now, there are a couple of different ones you can get that are similar and different within the color scheme, like you can get some with the red-headed Briggs engines. Uh, I believe the cool thing about those lower end ones is that they are more geared toward DIYers, which allow you to do smart stow and all those fancy stuff, but that's not stuff we're going to get into in this video. We're talking about the 21383 model, which I believe is the top of the line when it comes to the matte black Toro Super Recyclers. So the first thing I want to talk about, you guys have probably heard this a million times, that is going to be the personal pace option. Now, if you're not buying a mower with personal pace or anything related to personal pace, let me just tell you, you are missing out because when you mow with a mower like the Toro Super Recycler matte black, which does have personal pace, you're mowing with something that actually compensates for the speed that you're willing to walk when you mow as opposed to a plain self propulsion whether it's front or rear wheel drive which pretty much pulls you as you go this one's a little more selective and allows you to choose the walking speed right as I've mentioned in previous videos uh, like one I did with Alan Hayden the lawn care not a while ago when I first used the Toro Super Recycler how fast you walk is how fast you mow how fast you walk is how fast you mow instead of having to keep up with the pace. Because the faster you walk with your hands on that handle, the more force you're going to put on it, which in turn will help the personal pace go a little bit faster and compensate for the walking speed at which you're walking. So to sum it up, it's like my good old buddy Alan Hain has always said, it's more of a leisure mow, which I always appreciate at the end of a long work day when I have to cut my lawn. I always appreciate that leisure mow. So again, it's one of those features that pretty much every Toro mower has nowadays, but it's something that just can't go unnoticed because after mowing with it for so long, like I said, it's just one of those things that oh, sets Toro apart from the competition for sure. It's got some game there. So yeah, definitely get one with personal pace. Another feature I like in particular is the flex handle suspension. It makes you feel like you're floating on a cloud, especially if you're mowing a bumpy lawn. If you're looking for something to make your mowing experience feel much more pleasant and much more smoother, you definitely want this feature. It's freaking awesome. And while we're on the topic of the mower catering to your comfort, let's just say that catering to your height is another thing that Toro has implemented into this mower. If you take out the blue screws on the outside of the handle, you'll notice that you have three different settings. You have one that's all the way up, one that's all the way down, and one that's in the middle. Me being a uh, average height guy, I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, I like to set mine right in the middle, and I like to have the handle right at my waist. Again, and that's personal preference. You could set it however you want, but personally, I like to have the handle at my waist when I'm mowing because it just makes me feel comfortable and it's not too high, it's not too low, and it just, it, it feels natural as opposed to holding my hands too high or too low. But again, that's something you have to mess with depending on your height, but again, for me, being an average height guy, I like it set right in the middle, and the fact that Toro just, again, considers user height, I just think that's awesome. So. Yeah, another great feature there. And last but not least, blade stop. If there's one thing the 21383 model of the matte black line has, it is blade stop. If you've been in the industry for a while and you're looking to make a new purchase, I believe buying top of the line is the best, right? It's going to be the highest quality and it's going to last you the longest time and to sum it up, you're going to get what you pay for. And that's what I believe you're going to get if you buy the top of the line, if you're willing to spend a little extra dough on some of these features like blade stop. So for those who don't know what blade stop is, basically Basically what it is, is it's a blue safety handle within the handle which will actually allow you to stop the blades and leave the engine running. Now, because if you're someone who does a lot of mowing, you have a lot of obstacles, you have to stop mowing frequently to move obstacles, I think this will be a big time saver for you as all you have to do is let go of the handle and move your item and then when you're done you just pull the handle back down, blades turn back on, you can get back to mowing. No need to restart the engine, the engine will just keep on running. And aside from that, all of my lawn care YouTuber friends out there, it's also great for us because you want to get every single angle you can, it's great for someone like us who's filming all all the time. You can literally just let go of the handle, move your camera, get back to mowing, no need to restart the engine, it just stays running. So to sum it up, not only is it a great mower for DIYers who have to stop mowing a lot, it's also the best mower for YouTubers. That's something to consider if you are a content creator within the DIY or professional lawn care space. 
right, so the last thing we're gonna talk about is going to be performance. So whenever I review a lawnmower, there's always two scenarios in which I like to try it in. Number one would be normal conditions like weekly or bi-weekly mowing when the lawn is being maintained. Always like to see how it does in basic maintenance. And then a step up from that, I like to see how it does in slightly to heavily overgrown turf. So that's what we're gonna talk about right now. So to start off with the normal cut, this mower does exceptionally well. Me, I personally like to mow my lawn twice a week, which is perfect as it does a couple of things for me. Number one, it helps stimulate more growth. Frequent mowing will help the lawn grow more. And number two, it just helps make sure that I stay within the one third rule, which means that when I am mowing the lawn, I am not removing no more than one third of the grass blades length within that single mowing. So that is why I like to mow bi-weekly. And as I've just stated, the mower does exceptionally well in this and topped off with all the features I talked about. It just makes for a comfortable mowing performance. So very awesome there. Taking a step up, what you're about to see is how the mower is going to be performing in unkept turf. This is actually my backyard here. It hasn't been mowed for a good two to three weeks. I decided to let it go with all the rain we're getting. And as you can see, this lawn is fairly overgrown and the mower is doing exceptionally well. Those features are just making the mowing experience much more pleasant. The mulching did work quite well. We do have slight clumping, but not as much as if I would have mowed this with the traditional 21 inch recycler. So definitely an A plus there. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better than any mower I've ever used on overgrown turf without bagging or side discharge. You could see the cut is way, way cleaner compared to any other mower I've ever used within this scenario.
you go guys, there's my initial rundown of the matte black Toro Super Cycler model number 21383. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I know there were a couple of things I did not mention such as bagging and side discharge which we'll probably have to do a separate video on that down the road once we get into leaf season or maybe using it in a professional setting. But then again, I think one of the most important things is how the mower does mulching wise, right? That's what everyone's looking for because one of the most ideal cultural practices within the lawn care world is that you are mulching your clippings and mowing frequently. It's a good idea to mulch those clippings, recycle them and put them back into the lawns. So then that way you don't have to overcompensate with your fertilizer. You can actually fertilize less. And you don't have to worry about giving your lawn as much of a nutrient load as you would if you were bagging those clippings. So I think mulching is the number one thing we needed to look at here just to see how the mower did with that regard. So again, side discharge and bagging, those are probably different scenarios scenarios and different videos that we will do down the road. So make sure that you do subscribe and stay tuned for all of that content. Now one more thing, I just want to say a big thanks to Toro again for sending me all of these tools. We have tons more to come. They actually sent me a 54 inch time cutter that we will be reviewing here in the near future. So again, make sure you're subscribed and stay in tune for all of that stuff that will be coming up as well. So that's all I have for you guys today. I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If I don't see you guys next time, your lawn is going to be dominated. See you later. <laughs>